Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Yes sir, as you can see there on the table in front of you, we are going to be talking about a Kubi, the KB239CF in this case for carbon fiber, also known as the Drake. Now, the Drake was provided to me by Kubi for review, so I greatly appreciate them doing so and thank them very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure to work with them, and I thank them very much for providing the Drake. But let's zoom out, and we'll take a little bit better look at it. Now, there you go. Your carbon fiber and titanium models from Kubi come in the nice zippered pouch. Pretty much standard zippered pouch fare. Two pockets, cleaning cloth, and... A little congratulations card for buying a Kubi. Move that out of the way for now. This is the Drake. Now, as I said, this version of the Drake has carbon fiber. Now, they do have a G10 version. I believe it's available in orange and green G10. I believe the two colors that I've seen it available in. But, you know, guys, I tell you what, Kubi is doing a really, really good job with their carbon fiber. I have the Eris here that I will kind of compare with it here in a bit. We'll take a look at the carbon fiber on that one, but it's pretty much the same. Man, their carbon fiber is looking really good. Really, really like the look of it. As you can see there, you've got a titanium backspacer and a titanium pocket clip with a little kind of light steelish blue anodization done on it which is a nice contrast to that carbon fiber it is right hand tip up carry only stainless steel liners which as you can see does have a decent amount of skeletonization done on it now this is a good still a good sized knife so it is going to have some weight to it stainless steel hardware pivot cap and then we move to that blade man take a look at that blade aus 10 got a really nice bead blast finish on it looks really good now that's kind of a that is a wicked looking type cleaver kind of reminds me of a like a bird of prey head on this one of course the eye here and the beak but nice swedge there kind of got kind of do have a little bit of a rhino horn going there but I, I really dig the way that blade looks really really nice now the designer is Maxime oh man Maxime Tachik I'm hope I'm saying this right but that's his Max Maker mark there with the skull logo. And there you go. Aus 10. Right there. I do have a lanyard hole. Sorry, I forgot to point that out. Now, the Drake. They started using Aus 10, which is good. Still runs on ceramic ball bearings. Pretty darn good action on it. A little bit of a shake. It is a liner lock. It's our liner hooking up at. You do have almost full engagement with that liner, which I actually really prefer. Line, liners are fairly substantial. Um, I'd call that a good 30% at, the, at least. 30 to 35. So really, really good lockup on the liner. Like I said, action's pretty darn good. I mean, that blade, the blade's pretty heavy. So, you got a, you got a decent size chunk of Aus 10 there. So, it's going to help carry it out and help it drop. Let's check the centering real quick. Yeah, that centering looks pretty much spot on. Very good. Very good. 
Oh, let's take some measurements real quick. So, what do we got here? We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just, just over eight and a half inches fully open. I'm giving the handle pretty much a full four and three quarter. Yep, pretty much four and three quarter on it, which is going to give you a handle length of right about, or a blade length of right about three and three quarter. Now your cutting edge is going to be just, just a hair shy of three and a half. And as far as grip length goes, if you go from point to point, you're looking at about three, uh, three and three quarters. If you would happen, if a finger would happen to drop back off of there, it's not too uncomfortable, but natural grip length, you're looking at three and three quarters. Now, I'm going to throw, this is where I'm going to bring the heiress out, kind of show a little bit of a, because you know, I really thought the Drake was a lot bigger than the heiress but that's not necessarily the case it is and it isn't and i'll tell you what i mean but there you go there's the carbon fiber on the heiress heiress is of course d2 it's got that really awesome stone wash on it but you know if you line up the pivots of these two i'm going to Sorry, wasn't an earthquake. I'm just going to help you look. If you line these two up, the drake is not much longer than what the heiress is. If you fully measure it out, it's about a half an inch. So you get about a quarter of an inch on the blade and a quarter of an inch roughly on the handle. Maybe not quite exactly that, but it's about a half inch in overall length now as you can see it's a it's a substantial it has a much more substantial blade on it and the handle is a little bit wider as well not i just expected it to be a lot bigger than the Eris, just from looking you know pictures and stuff like that but it's not really at all and you know, the Eris, the Eris has been my favorite Kubi for a long time. It, it's just an awesome, awesome knife. I'll tell you what, though, the Drake, the Drake's right behind it. Ha, didn't overtake it because, just because the Eris is more that slender that I like. But the Drake, Drake's a really, really solid knife. Let's get a weight on it because that's going to be... That's going to be our telltale. Now, it's heavier. Is it too heavy? No. Not for me, anyway. That carbon fiber is lighter, of course. So we got 135 grams or 4.8 ounces. So we're just shy of 5 ounces. Which, as I always say, you know, my sweet spot for carry is, you know, 3.5 four, you know, but still, it's not, it doesn't carry heavy at all. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Let's zoom out again just a little bit. There we go. As far as your carry goes, that's all you have exposed. Not bad at all. You're right about that half inch mark, but of course, it does taper, so... Not a whole lot of exposure. Really good grip on the pocket clip. It's a little, a little stiff on the out, but not too bad. That one's kind of frayed too. Did I leave any behind? I don't think so. But you have a good ramp going in. And then as you can see there, it's almost straight up and down. So you do have a little bit of pop coming out, but nothing, nothing too major. Overall, guys, as I said, I am really, really digging the Drake. Um, I love the blade. I just love the overall look of that blade. Like I said, it kind of looks like 
a raptor's head, bird of prey, just kind of mean. Mm-hmm. Flipper, can I? I don't, I, I shouldn't try this, because I know I'm not going to be able to. No, I can't. I cannot get my finger in there enough. Oh! Looky there! It did it. It wasn't very authoritative, <laughs> but I did it. No, I'm not going to do it again. I did it once. That's good. Um, some of you professional Spidey Flickers out there might be able to do it, you know, but eh, I did it once. It took me a bit, but I'm good. But overall, guys, yeah, decent forward finger choil. I can get up on it and have a good amount left over. You've got a thumb ramp there with some jimping on it. Pretty darn adequate jimping. And they're set right, so you can pretty much get right there, do some good work, work with it, get a good forward grip, and put it to work for you. I mean, you can even, you know, get your finger out there on the blade for sure. Mm, love that blade. Great great feel in hand. I mean, if we look at this, I mean, it's chamfered and contoured really, really well. I mean, you've got a good cut out there for your index finger. Good access. Yeah, pretty darn good access to the liner. No issues at all there. But man, really comfortable. The clips, not even an issue in grip at all i mean there you go shout out to all the gas station fighters out there yep yeah peter i was talking to you no i'm kidding not really um <laughs> sorry i had to throw that in there but yeah it dude overall it's just i'm digging it i mean as i said it's a it's a more substantial knife than the heiress is for sure not as i thought it was going to be a lot longer and it's not. But overall, just a pretty darn solid knife. Our good buddy Blue. There he is. There's Blue. Say hi, Blue. Blue liked it. He gave it an 8.5. Says it's a very solid knife. And I'm pretty much down with him. Now, the carbon fiber and OS 10 version sells for right around $100. Yep, $99.99. Now, as I said, there is a G10 version. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's green and orange. OD green and orange are the colors that that comes in. And they sell for just under 60 if I remember correctly. Pretty sure it was like 58 I believe. 58 59 right in there. So, if you're not in the market for a carbon fiber one, but really like the design, they do have... The G10 version. So, and it is OS 10 as well. It is G10, but it is OS 10. It's not D2. So the only real difference is you get G10 instead of carbon fiber. You probably did. Oh, let's. I tell you what. You know what? I didn't look, but we're going to real quick and see if the backspacer and stuff. I don't want to lie to you. Yeah, clips, titanium. Backspacer is G10, but the clip is titanium. So, yeah. Yeah, otherwise it's still pretty much the same. G10, G10 versus G10 on the handle, G10 on the backspacer versus carbon fiber and titanium. For about 40 bucks less. That's pretty darn good. So, thanks again to Kubi for loaning me. The KB239CF Drake. Thank them very much. And thank all of you for checking it out with me today. Always appreciate it. Thank you very much. As always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. You know I love talking to you. Till next time, guys. I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.